Hi guys, so in last week's Frostgrave video I was having a bit of a rant about um, lack of content and that sort of things but in that video I mentioned that I was going to try and darken the scenery uh, give it a little bit of depth and bring it back up again so I've had a go at doing that and I wanted to show you guys and get your opinion on it Right, so as you can see I've got it all laid out behind me here because that's where I put it after I'd sprayed it all. So I hit it with the airbrush, I hit it with some black uh, that I thinned down to a wash using uh, the airbrush flow improver. It's a fantastic tool for making washes and things. Um, and it looks great. You can't see it over there. I've got a piece here that I want to show you closer up. Uh, it's added a lot of depth to it. Uh. I'm not sure if that's coming out, but I'm going to show you on the close-up camera, which I'll just skip to now. There we go. Uh, it's hard to get in this camera, to be honest. Now, this kind of gives you an idea of the effect that's happened here. So the, the bricks on this have got a lot of detail. You can see there, all the dimpled effect. And and the wash has taken really nicely to it. And then I've just gone in, and I've, I've hit it with a, uh, a dry brush of this stuff, which is pale grey blue. I've gone for the grey blue because it's I've tried to make it look frosty um, and I've gone for a well I've used a really big brush this one here in fact this beast <laughs> and I've gone for sort of broad strokes down like that in fact you can see there to give it a bit of a windswept look and um, that's the sort of look I was going for like, like the winds hit it and the frosters come across it which is one of the cool um, you can see it a little bit there as well one of the cool uh, words one of the cool effects I like the look of when I see uh, windswept frosty uh, scenery and also pictures in general uh, onto the actual scenery itself you can see here Got some cool little details that have come out it just looks like it's got a lot more depth than it did before and more importantly, it looks painted. Hey, as before, it uh, it looked a little bit monotone, and it didn't have very much low light and uh, highlight going on. It was a little bit monotone because I think the um, the shading was very similar to the highlights, and and then that detracted from the uh, the depth of uh, all the detail on it. And it's just come out really nice. That like you got some really nice deep dark bits in all of these recesses which makes it come out like that there. It's lovely. Um, what I wanted to know from you guys is, do you think I need to go lighter? So do I need to hit this with either more of a dry brush with this, or do I need to go up to a white? So that's what I'm wondering from you guys. Is this enough? Because I think this is potentially looking like um, stone at the moment, but it's maybe not looking like frosty stone so I need to potentially take it one little bit higher to make it look frosty I also need to do something with the wood to make the wood look more frosty uh, and this is a problem here <laughs> this has been a problem since I designed it I need to cut away some of that there to make it uh, look better but yeah so I just want to show you guys these I'll just grab another piece to show you Here we are, so that's how this piece looks. These flat pieces have got quite a lot of depth added to them here. You can see from the original uh, wash I added, I've got this nice marbly effect from the original uh, homemade wash that went on. Same sort of thing going on there. But again, I've got this quite nice darkening that's happened. Again, the floor isn't in this because well, I wasn't going to wash the floor, was I? And uh, one last piece. I may as well show you. Oh, and not the camera while I'm at it. Here we go. So there's this one here. This one's got a lovely gold. I'll say gold. It's got a nice bronze door on it. Again. It's just darkened it up. It's hard to get these in this camera. Uh, that there went a little bit awry. I think with another dry brush that will probably come out quite nice. Although from... From a distance like that, you can't really notice when you're talking how, how big a miniature is next to that. If I grab Joyles the mild-mannered 
sigilist and you stick him next to it. It's it's a very small detail. <laughs> oh, he's fallen over. So, yeah, I'm liking how it's come out. So I'm I'm wondering from you guys whether you think whether you think I should probably talk close to the microphone. I need to make it frostier because of course it goes onto my snowy Oh, oh dear oh dear. It goes onto my snowy mat. I need to know whether you think it uh it needs more white essentially. <clears throat> um I'm not going to put any snow on it as yet, but I'm not against taking it much brighter. That's how it looks when it's on sand. So of course when it's on the uh the mat which you can see mounted on the wall over there. <laughs> um you imagine that these pieces here are on that mat which is on the wall. I think they do probably need to go brighter uh, in terms of white. So I'll probably hit them with the white and make a video next week and see how they come out and then I'll I'll let you know let you guys know how they come out. Uh and we'll have another see what they look like but yeah let me know what you think uh of how they've come out so far i'm i'm definitely happy with the darkness of them now compared to how they were before um i'll try and remember to put a video in the description of how they were before uh, if you've seen any of the the battle reports you'll know that they they were a very sort of lighter color um in other news the local store uh which is galactic models they they've got a uh a player sort of Facebook group and it looks as though there's a bit of a Frostgrave scene uh, starting on there so that's pretty cool it looks as though there's going to be that starting so uh, me and Harry potentially are going to get involved in that so that's pretty that's pretty cool we're gonna start playing some some new opponents um, and yeah I'm really looking forward to that I've also got some friends coming down at the weekend and uh, I think the game of choice that's going to be played at the weekend is also Frostgrave. So, yeah, best get these to a higher, lighter colour before the weekend. So uh, everything looks nice for that. Right then. Uh, yeah, rambled on far too long. Thank you very much for watching. Catch up with me in between videos over here. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Stay well, guys.